In this video, I have a super quick tutorial showing you how to create a multi-agent chatbot using Langchain, MCP, Web Scraping, and Olama to build a powerful agent chatbot for your business or personal use. If this is your first time watching me, I highly recommend checking out my previous video. I made a video about MCP, which became a big hit in the AI community. MCP, RAG, and Agent have been very popular recently. Almost everyone working on AI is talking about this topic. At the same time, a large number of MCP tools have been born almost every day. This is because RAG relies on search tools to acquire knowledge, and MCP can standardize the process of calling these tools. The toolchain coordinated by MCP requires real-time data support, and RAG can dynamically provide knowledge context. For example, the agent calls the web search interface through MCP, and then inputs the search results into RAG to generate answers. Similarly, in supply chain optimization, MCP calls the inventory API to obtain real-time inventory data. Not long ago, Mistral came up with another small and beautiful product. Mistral Small 3.1 was released and is open source. Mistral Small 3.1 is an upgraded version of Mistral Small 3 with 24B designed to provide efficient, low latency and high performance generative AI solutions. The model is released under the Apache 2.0 license, allowing for commercial purposes. This version mainly adds support for image understanding and the context length is increased from the original 32K to 128K tokens. It can run on a single RTX 4090 graphics card or a Mac with 32 gigabytes RAM, which is three times faster than Llama 3.370B with the same number of parameters on the same hardware. Look at the benchmark chart. The horizontal axis is speed, the smaller the faster, the vertical axis is knowledge, the larger the stronger. Mistral Small 3.1 directly dominates the upper left corner with speed and knowledge double buffs. So let me give you a quick demo of a live chatbot to show you what I mean. I will ask the chatbot a question. Get the latest news about LLMs. Feel free to ask any questions you want. If you look at how the chatbot generates the output, you will see that when a user enters a query, the agent searches the web, extracts URLs, fetches the full content of those pages asynchronously, and splits the content into manageable chunks. These chunks are embedded using Mistral AI or Olama embedding. Feel free to use any embedding you want and store it in a FICE vector database for fast semantic retrieval. One of the problems I faced was that when we wrapped our search and RAG functions as MCP tools, we ran into errors like attempted to exit cancel scope in a different task than it was entered in and closed resource error. MCP couldn't properly handle the async connections needed for web searches. The way I solved this was by modifying the code to create fresh connections for each tool call instead of maintaining long-lived connections. This isolated each operation in its context. Then it performs a RAG-based search to return the most relevant information from the fetched content alongside traditional search results. All core functions like search web, get web content, create RAG and search RAG are wrapped with error handling and can run independently or through a fast MCP powered server with real time interaction via server sent events. So by the end of this video, you will understand the difference between MCP and RAG, how to combine RAG and MCP, and how we're going to use LangGraph, MCP, RAG and open source to create a powerful agentic chatbot. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video, and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. The differences between MCP and RAG reflect their different positioning in practical applications. MCP is particularly suitable for scenarios that require LLM to perform complex operations, such as when developing AI agents, where the agent may need to call external tools to complete tasks, such as extracting data from a database or using a constraint solver to solve a problem. On the other hand, 
RAG is more suitable for scenarios where information needs to be kept up to date and accurate, such as when an enterprise chatbot needs to answer questions related to products or services, which may be beyond the scope of LLM's training data. An interesting observation is that the two can be used in combination. For example, an AI agent can use MCP to call a retrieval tool such as web search and then integrate the retrieved information into its generated response through RAG is thereby achieving more powerful capabilities. This combination may become more and more common in AI applications in 2025, especially in scenarios that require dynamic interaction and real-time information updates. The success of MCP relies on industry support for the protocol and addressing security and scalability issues, while the popularity of RAG benefits from its cost effectiveness and ease of implementation. However, the versatility of MCP may make it a more widely integrated standard in the future, while RAG is likely to continue to dominate in knowledge-intensive tasks. Let us now explore step-by-step step and unravel the answer to how to create the MCP APP. We will install the libraries that support the model. For this, we will do a pip install requirements. The next step is the usual one, where we will import the relevant libraries, the significance of which will become evident as we proceed. We initiate the code by importing classes from Firecrawl Loader is a powerful tool that allows you to crawl and convert any website into markdown format. It efficiently handles all accessible subpages, providing clean markdown and metadata for each page. XAPI allows users to search using complete sentences and natural language, and can also simulate the way people share and talk about links on the internet to query content. MCP is an open protocol that standardizes how applications provide context to LLMs. I created a fast MCP-powered web search tool that integrates real-time web capabilities using the EXA and Firecrawl APIs enhanced with RAG for more relevant results. The for fast MCP instance, named Web Search, supports advanced filtering by domain, keywords, and dates, and delivers structured outputs including titles, URLs and summaries, I designed a search web tool function registered with mcp.tool, which accepts a query, performs the search, extracts and validates URLs, and runs RAG processing using create RAG and search RAG to retrieve semantically relevant content. I included robust error handling for no results, invalid URLs, and search failures. I also developed Get Web Content tool to fetch and return full web page content with a 15 second timeout, handling various errors gracefully. Finally, I made a Get Tools function to register all tools with optional retriever support and wrapped everything in a main block that runs the FastMCP server using SSE for real time tool interaction. So I designed a RAG pipeline that creates a face vector store from a list of URLs using Mistral embedding or Olama embedding and async content retrieval. Then I create RAG the function begins by initializing an embedding model, defaulting to your desired embedding. With support for custom API keys and endpoints and processes input in token batches of 64, I then fetch web content asynchronously from all URLs to improve speed aggregating the retrieved document objects. These documents are split into overlapping chunks, 10,000 characters with 500 overlap. Using recursive character text splitter to maintain context and ensure compatibility with LLM context limits. The split chunks are converted into embeddings and stored in a face index for fast similarity search. I added robust error handling to catch issues during embedding, fetching or storage. I also create RAG from documents, a more flexible alternative that accepts already fetched documents, ideal for offline or cached workflows. Finally, I built the search RAG function to semantically retrieve the top three most relevant chunks from FIS based on cosine similarity, enabling efficient and meaningful document level question answering. Then I developed a web search and content retrieval system using the EXA and Firecrawl APIs designed to perform intelligent web queries, extract relevant information, and format it for use in downstream tasks like RAG. Then I created a configuration dictionary to manage search defaults and constants, such as maximum retry attempts and request timeouts. The core of the system includes three main functions. Search web, 
which sends a query to the XR API and returns both formatted markdown summaries and raw results, format, search results, which structures the results with titles, URLs, publication dates, and summaries in a clean markdown format, and get web content, which uses Firecrawl to fetch full page content from URLs and convert it into structured document objects. I implemented robust error handling and retry logic to manage unsupported websites and transient failures. The whole pipeline begins with a user-provided query, retrieves summarized results from EXA, and scrapes their content with Firecrawl, ultimately returning both user-friendly outputs and machine-readable documents, ready for use in applications like chatbots and research assistants. Then I created a system that first checks for a search query either from command line arguments or user input, then initiates a web search through the search module. I designed the script to process the raw search results, extract URLs and pass them to the RAG module, which creates a vector store from the web content. The system then performs a semantic search on this vector store to find the most relevant information related to the original query. I made sure to include proper error handling and user feedback, displaying both traditional search results and AI-enhanced RAG results separately. The entire process runs asynchronously using Asyncio for efficient I.O. operations, and I structured the output to clearly distinguish between different types of results for a better user experience. So far, you can see that combining the RAG with the MCP server significantly improves the performance of the AI by providing the agent with the required knowledge through retrieval and contextual awareness of the situation through memory and data integration. The AI-driven system becomes more autonomous and useful. It can act as a researcher, assistant, or analyst, not only having access to information at all times, but also understanding when and how to apply it.